Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 38. Let versus let with an exclamation point or bang. In this episode, you'll learn about the differences between let versus let with that bang and show you an example of how it can affect your tests. And then we're going to refactor those basic scenarios. If you want to code along, you can clone the Ruby Thursday example app with this branch, which is Upgrade Rails 5. So I have indeed upgraded my example app. So if you already have Ruby Thursday on your local, just trash that one and clone this one instead. You are probably already familiar with the RSpec helper method let, but there is another one to know about let with the bang. So right from the RSpec core docs, use let to define a memoized helper method the value will be cached across multiple calls in the same example, but not across examples. Note that let is lazy evaluated. It is not evaluated until the first time the method it defines is invoked. You can use let with the bang to force the method's invocation before each example. So what does that really mean when you are setting up your tests? Let's go through an example. In our first scenario, we're going to be editing a starship. First, we're going to let, with no exclamation point, starship be a factory girl creation of our factory starship. And first, we're going to edit that starship by visiting the edit page directly. So we'll visit the edit starship path and we'll call starship. It's a local variable, no at sign. And then we'll continue to edit the Starship. We'll enter a new name. Let's make it more specific. My factory just says Enterprise. Let's make it a specific Enterprise. We'll update that Starship. We'll expect to be on the show page. Then we'll reload the Starship because it's changed. And we'll expect the Starship name to equal that new name. Opening up our text editor, let's go ahead and add this new feature test. Let's add a new file that we will name Edit starship spec dot rb and then I'll paste in that spec. Let's go ahead and run the test. So that's r spec spec features edit starship spec and I scaffolded the original starship so it probably is already set up and it is and it passes. Now let's see what happens when we add another scenario that does not directly visit that starship. In this case, we'll be editing this starship by visiting the home page first. We'll visit the root path, click link view starships, which will go to an index of starships. So we'll make sure it has that content listing starships. Then we'll click edit and then expect to have the content editing starship. Then we'll do the same process again, fill in the starship with a new name, click to update it and expect it to have changed. Back in our text editor, we'll just simply add that scenario and save it. Now let's run it and see what happens. So I'm running the whole spec again, both scenarios. And the first one passes, but the second one does it. Okay, well, we haven't included a link to view starships yet, so let's do that. So let's go ahead and do that. I've opened up my index file in the home view directory, and I'm adding a link to view starships which goes to the Starship's path and save that. Now let's run it again, see if we get further in our test. And it's still failing, but this time it can't find the link edit. Let's go ahead and add a binding prize so that we can see exactly what's happening. So I'll put it right before where it fails and run the test again. And now that we're in our prize session, I'm going to see if we have starships, and we don't. It hasn't made any starships. Let's look at the page directly, make sure the page is loading. It says it did, but let's double check. And we see that it's loading, but there are no starships. So let's exit out of that. We can even try to call the starship by trying to click on a link that specifically calls that starship. Let's see if that fixes it, but it still fails. So let's put it back the way it was and save it. Now we're going to add that bang and see what happens. It passes. That's because it created the starship before running it. 
Now let's go ahead and refactor. We see we have a lot of lines that are very similar. It's a very similar process. The difference is how you get to that page. So let's go ahead and define a method where we can put that information in. So let's go ahead and copy all the way from expecting the page to have the content editing Starship through to the expectation. Oh, well let's add to that method then because it really is editing the name and expecting the new name. Let's describe it a little bit better as we refactor. So now I can copy that method and put it up in both of our scenarios. So I'm going to take away all of this as well and save. Now let's run it again, make sure our refactoring didn't break anything and they pass. So again, we just needed to change to the let with the exclamation point. So if you're having trouble with your test, not understanding why something isn't already created, try adding the bang. I'm including in the presentation the final scenarios that we refactored to, just so you have that. And that's it for this Ruby snack. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com where you can sign up and get even more tidbits in the emails. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on that big red button. They get the episodes just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.